Mo and friends. <laughs> hey, there's that sound again. Where's it coming from? Whoa. Whoa. What is an aeroplane? An aeroplane is a thing that flies in the sky and you can go on holiday on them. What kind of sound does it make? It goes brrrr, and it's really noisy. Wow. Hey, Mo, how's things? Oh, hello. Uh, is this an aeroplane? Sure is, and I'm the pilot. The pilot? Oh, how does an aeroplane fly? Well, it's about the speed of the aeroplane through the air. As the plane goes through the air, it creates lift and it gets sucked up into the sky and the big propeller at the front pulls it along. Oh, so how do the wings work? Oh, as the air rushes over the top, it's got further to go on the top of the wing because it's curved. That creates lift, and this is what we turn the plane with. We create more lift by pushing these up or down from inside. So how does the propeller work? Well, the engine behind here turns this big propeller here and it bites in the air and pulls the aircraft through the air. Oh. How does the tail work? Well, if we want the aircraft to go up, we, we go up like this. Oh. That's the, that's the elevator. And, of course, when we want it to go down, we, we push it down like that. Down. Perfect. <laughs> and if we want it to go left or right, we use this. This is the rudder. So have you ever been on an aeroplane? Yes, I have, and it's really fun. Maybe I could take you for a fly in it. What do you think? Oh, sound exciting? Are you serious? Is it going to be your first ride? Yeah! Oh, wow. First for me, too. Ah. Let's do it. I've just read the instructions, so I'm pretty sure I know what to do. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> taking Mo flying in your aeroplane. Uh, Mo feels a little woozy, but uh, it was lots of fun. It was great to have you. Been my best passenger ever. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mo usually has cuddles now, but uh, pilots high five. High five. Oh. 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 Oh, hello. Uh, Mo is looking for a tractor. There's one just there, Mo. Huh? Whoa! Oh, Mo likes tractor. What is a tractor? A uh, tractor's just a piece of farm machinery that we use for a variety of jobs. We can use it for digging holes, pushing trees over, dragging trees. Uh, there's a whole variety of things that we can use a tractor for. Why do tractors have big wheels? Just to give them lots of traction and, and a lot of extra grip on the ground. Yeah? What if something gets stuck in the mud? Can a tractor help? A tractor can pull out other vehicles. They've got lots of power. What happens if a tractor gets stuck in the mud? You need a bigger tractor. <laughs> and can you play on a tractor? No. No? Well, why not? Because it's dangerous. Oh. Can Mo climb up on the wheels? No, not at all. Oh, can Mo take the tractor for a drive? No. Oh, if Mo promises to be good, 
Can Moo go for a ride on the tractor with a grown-up? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> What do you use a tractor for? Oh, we could use it for ploughing a paddock. Yeah? Feeding out hay. Hay? What's hay? Hay is just dried grass. Uh. Oh, this must be hay. Hey, hey. <laughs> Classic Mo. Hey, Connor, look. Mo found some hay. Uh, why do you have hay on a farm? Well, we have hay to feed the animals when there's not much grass around. Oh. Well, why don't they just eat grass all the time? Because sometimes it's not enough. Oh. oh, so the hay is like extra food? Yeah. Oh. Hay is pretty skinny. Uh, it must be really hard for the tractor to pick it up. That just puts it in bales. Bales? Yeah. What are bales? Bales are hay compacted together. Oh, so you squish it all up tight and then the tractor can pick it up? Yeah. Oh. Can we go and feed some animals now? Not now, maybe later. OK, Mo will be patient. How about now? No, not now. OK. Can we feed the animals now? No. OK. Do you know what question Mo would ask? What would Mo say? Can we feed the animals now? Yes, we can! <laughs> feed the hay. Come on. Oh, there you go. Oh. Whoa! That was a big bite. Come here, Mr. Horse. Come on. Come here, Mr. Horse. Yeah, there you go. Here, eat this. Whoa. Oh, you're hungry. Um, Holly, uh, is it OK if Mo takes this little bit of hay home to feed most farm animals? Yep. Oh, good. We will put it in Mo's pocket. Um, Mo just remembered. Mo doesn't have a pocket. Well, it was fun seeing the tractor and feeding the farm animals hay. <laughs> Who wants cuddles? Whoa! Whoa! Holy moly! Oh, here comes Mo. <laughs> What is a helicopter? Um, well, it, um, it's a thing where it, where it flies through the air and it goes tugga 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 tugga. <laughs> tugga 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 tugga. <laughs> what a great sound. And how does it fly through the air? Does it have wings? Um, no, it has, um, these things, um, what are called, like, blades and they blades. go around really fast what make it fly. Oh, they go round and round and round? Yes. Oh, what are the blades called? Uh, just rotor blades is a simple name for them. Uh, well, if the rotor blades spin around and round, uh, how come the helicopter doesn't spin around and round? So we've got an addition of uh, tail rotor blades in the back, and uh, they obviously spin as well. Tail rotor blades keep the helicopter in a straight line, or they also turn it if need be. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, so uh, how do you fly a helicopter? Uh, with a bit of practice. <laughs> There's three controls. You've got your tail rotor pedals, which are used by your feet. Yep. And then you've got uh, the cyclic. The cyclic is controlling the main rotor blades on the top. Yeah. And collective is for up and down. So there's three different controls. Exactly. So uh, one of them is up and down. Yes. Uh, one of them is uh, keeping the helicopter straight. Yes. And one of them is left and right. Yeah, left and right, forward and back type situation. Oh, forward and back. Mm. Right. Okay. Well, that sounds really tricky. <laughs> oh, they're spinning around and around like rotor blades. <laughs> oh, making Mo feel dizzy just watching them. <sighs> Mo has a bit of a confession to make, actually. Uh, Mo's friends Frank and Fern can both fly, uh, but Mo can't. Uh, so Mo was wondering if there's any chance at all that you could take Mo flying in a helicopter. Yep, that wouldn't be a problem. Oh, that'd be really great. Let's go. Uh, uh, and ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 
We're up really high. Just flying through the sky. No big deal. <laughs> so this is why Fern likes it so much. <laughs> oh, coming into land. Uh, it's a little bit windy. And touchdown. The monster has landed. <laughs> Ah, well, thank you for taking me on a helicopter ride. No problem, any time. <laughs> this view's not bad, is it? What <laughs> does that sound? Hmm. Race cars. <laughs> this race car's slowing down. What's going on? Oh, what are these guys doing? What is a pit crew? Um, they're the people that fix the race cars when they come in. You can fix cars? Yeah. So what do you do if the wheel breaks or if the tyre pops? Well, you just can you tyre on. Oh, Mo has a toy car and the wheel broke. Do you think Mo should fix it? Yes. OK. What is this part of the racetrack called? Uh, Mo, this is called the pits. Oh, doesn't look that bad. <laughs> yeah. No, this is a place where people do work on their race cars when they need to. So what's the first thing the pit crew does when the car comes into the pits? We put the sign out so the car knows where to stop. The sign says for the driver, brakes on. Then we have to jack the car in the air. And handle down. Perfect. Now that we've got the car jacked up, we have yep. to take the wheel off. OK. That was heavy. Yeah, that's a bit heavy, isn't it? Uh, so what do we do now? Well, now that we've got the wheel off, we put the other wheel back on. Uh, oh, that was heavy too. Hard work, isn't it? Yeah. Now we put the wheel nuts back on. Oh, well, the wheel nuts hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall off. Interesting. That was a lot of work. And that's why we have team members helping us. Oh, if everyone works together and just does a little bit at the same time, gets done faster, and you win the race. That is correct. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, this must be the place. <laughs> Better check it out. <laughs> what is a fire station? Um, it's where some firefighters do their work. Oh, what kind of work do they do? Um, they put out fires. Oh, they fight the fires? Yeah. A fire station is where all the firefighters and fire trucks and equipment is kept. Oh. So that if there's an emergency, uh, we can respond and try and help people. So is the fire station like home base for the firefighters? Yeah, that's right. What is this room of the fire station? Uh, this is the gym, Mo. Every day, the firefighters spend some time in the gym to make sure they're fit and strong oh. so that they can lift all the heavy equipment and work hard. Mm, must. Get strong! Yeah, whoa! So what kind of things do firefighters have at a fire station? Um, they, they have hoses. Hoses? What are the hoses for, doing the gardens? No, oh. for putting out the fires. Oh! Yep. Whoa! Look at it go! If that cone was a fire, it'd be out. Uh, what else do firefighters have at a fire station? Um, they have some special gear that they put on. There's a jacket, some pants, and sometimes gum boots. Oh, do you think it protects them from the fire? Yeah. Oh. What are your best fire safety tips? Uh, it's a really good idea to make sure you've got smoke alarms in your house. Oh. And to make sure that you and your family have got a safe meeting place. Right, so uh, you just say if there's a fire, we all meet at the letterbox. Yep. What's the first thing that happens when there's an emergency? Well, we have some alarms that go off on the station to let everybody know. Right. And then the firefighters will come out to the truck and they'll get dressed quickly into their protective clothing. Right. They'll jump on the truck and then they'll figure out which way to go to get to the fire. Right. Oh, this place is great. It's... Whoa. <gasps> That's the biggest fire truck Mo's ever seen. Whoa. That fire truck is so awesome, Brad. Uh, what are the, some of the features of this fire truck? Uh, this fire truck's got a big ladder, Mo, that you can see on top. Oh, yeah. It's also got hoses, yeah. big ones and small ones, right. and it's also got uh, medical equipment. Okay. 
Mo has one more extremely important question. Uh, can Mo go inside? Yeah, of course, Mo. You can hop inside. <laughs> yes. OK. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Mo's on a fire truck. Uh, hey, Dora. Yes, Mo? You know that really awesome ladder on the roof? Yes. Uh, is there any way we could put that up? Of course we can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Maybe Mo should be a firefighter when Mo grows up. Bicycle. Um, a uh, bike that you ride on and you can do jumps and oh. go up ramps. Oh, so a bicycle is also called a bike? Yes. Oh, so what are the different parts of a bicycle? Wheels. Yeah, how many wheels are there? Two. Oh, okay. And uh, where do you put your feet? On the pedals. On the pedals? So where do you put your hands? You put it on the handlebars. On the handlebars? Oh, okay. So what kind of things can you do when you ride a bike? I can ride fast, I can do jumps, I can what? do tricks. You can do jumps? I can do jumps. Are they sweet jumps? They are sweet jumps, Mo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Is it really fun to ride a bike in the forest? Definitely, for sure. Yeah, all that fresh air. The smell of pine. Yeah, it's a beautiful smell. Ah. What happens if you fall off the bike? You just keep back up and go back on it. Oh, really? Just keep trying? Yes. Yeah. Is there anything special you have to wear when you're riding a bike? A helmet. Oh. Can you ride a bike to school? Yes. Can you ride a bike to the park? Yes. Can you ride a bike to your friend's house? Yes. Can you ride a bike to the moon? No. But pretty much most places. Just no space travel? Yeah. OK. Mo was ready. Mo was ready to ride the bike. Good idea, but we'll hold on a second. Let's do a little bike check to make sure it's all safe and sound. Oh, OK. okay. Uh, so I've got a little, a little thing to remind me. A, B, C. So A. I wonder what A on a bicycle might stand for. Um, a avocado. An avocado. I wonder what might be in our tyres. Oh, yeah! So give them a good squeeze. Make sure they're nice and hard. Got lots of air in. OK. Now, what's B? B is for brakes. So we're going to pull them on nice and hard and feel that they're going to work. Now, see. A uh, caterpillar. On our bicycle, we've got a chain. Oh. And we want to make sure that that chain is in good condition, got some lubricant on it, yep. and it's going to do the job. A for air. Good. B for brakes. Perfect. And C for chain. Good. Is Mo ready to ride? With a little bit of help, I know you can do it. Yes. Yes. Right foot down, push down hard. Pedal momentum. Pedal mo! Whoa! <laughs> mo is riding a bike! <laughs> uh, excuse Mo. Hi, Mo. Are you all going to the teddy bears picnic? Yeah, we are. We're just waiting for the bus now. A bus? Yeah. What is a bus? A bus is kind of like a really big car that can take lots and lots of people on it. Oh. Oh, and who drives the bus? A bus driver. Well, that makes sense. Uh, so uh, what do we do? Do we just wait here? Uh, we stand on the footpath yeah. away from the road so we're safe. Yep. And then when the bus comes, we're going to put our arm out. Oh, OK. So the bus driver knows to stop? Yes. Oh. And then do you just take a seat? We have to pay the bus driver first. Oh. And uh, you can pay with our money or a bus pass. Oh. Mo doesn't have any money or a bus pass. Well, that's OK. I've got two Mo. Oh. Well, thank you very much. Uh, so now what does Mo do? So we just have to wait patiently. OK. 
Mo is waiting patiently. Oh, here it is now, Mo. Hmm? Whoa! Mo is waiting, bus. Hard worked. The bus is stopping. <laughs> Uh, hello. Uh, Mo has never been on a bus before. Uh, what does Mo do with this? Uh, you just need to gum. It's uh, behind you. Oh. Oh, done. <laughs> you sit there, Teddy. Yeah. Oh, we're moving, Teddy. Oh, this is the way to travel, eh, Teddy? Have you been on a bus before, Emily? Yes, I have. You have? Oh. And, uh, is it fun to get the bus? Yeah. Yeah? So can buses go anywhere you want? Well, there's actually really special bus stops yeah. all out of town, and the buses drop into the closest bus stop to where you want to go. Oh. Well, that makes sense. When you're on the bus, can you run around? No. Well, why not? Because if the... If the bus has gone up a hill, you might fall down to the back and fall over and, oh. hurt, and oh. hurt your head. You don't want that. What do you do if you want to get off the bus? You press the stop buzzer. Oh, the stop button. It tells the driver that you want to get off that at that station. Oh, OK. Uh, is it fun to just push the button whenever you want? Yes, but it... it shouldn't do it because then you'll be getting off at a wrong stage and the driver might mess up. Oh, okay. Well, Mo will just push it once then. Yeah. Emily, are we there yet? We're nearly there. Oh. You can press the button. Yeah, okay, Mo will. Teddy. <laughs> oh, thank you, driver. That was fun. You're welcome. Tag off. <laughs> oh, we made it, Teddy. Hmm? Whoa. Look, Teddy. Oh. <laughs> what is your Teddy's name? Lily. Lily. Ted. Snow. Julia. Tiddy! Who wants cuddles? Yeah. Give my cuddles. Oh, big cuddles for Moe and Tiddy. Whoa, what's this place? Moe will we'll find out. Yeah. What is a railway station? Well, a railway station is a place that you go to catch the train. Well, that's what Moe wants to do. Almost come to the right place. Oh, definitely. How do we know when the train's going to be here? Well, we have to check the timetable. That tells us what time it's coming and where it's going to. Do you need anything before you get on the train? Um, you have to buy a ticket. Oh, Mo has a little bit of pocket money. Do you think that'll be enough for a train ticket? Yeah. Oh, that's good. OK, time to buy a ticket. What does Mo do? Uh, purchase tickets. Oh, it worked. Uh, Mo would like to go to Swanson. Mo likes swans. Time to put the money in. Oh, there's the ticket. Yep, got it. So where do you go to wait for the train? Um, you go onto the platform and that's when you wait behind the yellow lines. Oh, why do you have to wait behind yellow lines? Because trains can go really fast and sometimes it takes them a little while to stop. Oh, so if you're in front of the yellow line, is it dangerous? Yeah. So you stay behind, stay safe? Yeah. So if you want to get to the other side of the train tracks, can you just walk across them? Oh, no, they're very dangerous. Oh, the trains do go quite fast, don't they? Mm, they do. Yeah. So how do you get to the other side? Well, you need to look for either one of the bridges or a level crossing. Oh. And how do you know when it's safe to cross? Well, you need to wait till the barrier arms are up and the lights have stopped flashing. OK, uh, barrier arms up, lights stop flashing, it's OK to cross. 
Yes. Okay. Okay, standing behind the yellow line, waiting for the train to come. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah, so is Mo. <laughs> Here we go, mind the gap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, when is the train gonna... Wait a second. It's moving! The train's moving! I was on a train. <laughs> you can see fences. You can see grass. Tree, 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 tree. Coming to a stop. Is this where we get off? Uh, no. no. Oh, look, we're here. No. no. Well, why did we stop if we're not here? Because, because there's other passengers on the train who want, want to get, get off here. Oh, are there lots of different stops? Oh, uh, yeah. And some passengers get off and some get on. Yeah. Right. in an orderly fashion and mind the gap. <laughs> Thanks for catching the train with Mo, you guys. Uh, who wants cuddles? Yeah. Uh, where are all these cars going? Oh, oh hey guys. Uh, Mo has to tell you this, but you can't drive to the South Island. Oh, we're not. We're just boiling the ferry over there. Ferry? Whoa! That is one big boat. Oh, it looks like everyone's getting on the ferry. Oh, we better get on the ferry too. See you later, North Island. Yeah, look out, South Island. Here comes Mo. Yeah. What is a ferry? It's a ship that carries people from one place to another, and normally they are short trips. So Mo was trying to get to the South Island. Uh, is Mo on the right ferry? Yes, you are. We're heading from Wellington to Picton at this moment. We're just coming around the bottom of the North Island and heading across. Oh, and how long does it take to get to the South Island? About three and a half hours from the time that we leave Wellington till we get to Picton. Three and a half hours? Oh, what have you been doing today? I've just been watching movies and, yeah. Are you serious? Is there a movie theatre on the ferry? Yes. Have you been walking around the ferry? Yes. What did you see? Waves. Waves? Oh, like this? No. Oh, what kind of waves? Waves in the sea. <laughs> what can fit on a ferry? We can put trucks, cars, people. Whoa. And trucks? Yep, lots of trucks. We can carry about 32, 35 trucks if we want to. The ferry must be really heavy. How does it move? Well, we have on this ship, we have diesel engines, and they drive shafts, and the propellers then push us through the water. Whoa! That is one big engine. Whoa! This is South Island. Oh. Almost there. Mo is coming. Are we there yet? Sorry, no. Are we there? No. Uh, are we there yet? More patience. Okay, more, patience. more patience. More patience. I'm sorry. <laughs> How about now? No. Oh, New Zealand is beautiful. Well, looks like we're almost at the South Island. Time to get off the ferry. Cuddles. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I'm 
was in the South Island. Oh. Well, time to get home. See you later, South Island. We'll wait for my ferry. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>